I was out here working in the yard and I heard a, a pop. It sounded like a, maybe an aerosol can hit the ground off the side of my truck, it was a service truck. And um, didn't think too much of it. And then I saw Mary, uh, the uh, owner's grandmother or mother, she came over to the back of my truck and she normally doesn't come out of the house. So I ran over to see if she was all right. And she told me that the wash, or the wash machine had caught on fire. And I looked over, the garage was burning. So I started to run over there. I had to run back, grab a fire extinguisher. Ran over there. By then, the neighbor joined me. We grabbed the two dogs. He took them over to my house, put them in the backyard. I circled, the front door was locked with a deadbolt, so I circled around the back, um, tried to go through the back doors, got a few feet in the house, and it was so engulfed in smoke, I finally came back out. So I went around the house, each window pounded on the windows, um, came back, talked to my wife, she had called 911. Uh, about 20 minutes later, I called 911 again and said, where the hell is everyone? Uh, and then you could hear the siren shout after that. There was nothing I could do. It instant, I was amazing how quick it went up. Standing here in my driveway, two doors away, um, intense. It, it was real hot. I, mean, I couldn't give you the temperature, but it was enough to feel like you're sitting right next to a nice fire at a campsite, a very large one. So um, everyone, everyone knows everyone here. It's just a real close knit neighborhood. Yeah, in fact, one neighbor's already bringing home some equipment to help box everything up for them. We'll all get together and help them out so we can do. Wish I could have done more, but by the time I got there, and like I said, it was only a minute or two from the first pop till I was in the house, and it was totally full of smoke, so.